On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring updates to QuickBooks Online Payroll. Now, you can sync classes and projects from QuickBooks Time to Payroll and on to Reports. Here's what to expect. You'll see the update in action, then hear from Pro Advisors Dan Luthi and Astra Daniela Galvez. Hey, Pro Advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you are watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the scoop. We heard the hours tracked in QuickBooks time by project, by customer, or by classes were not flowing into payroll, which created extra work for you to then allocate payroll expenses accurately and run profitability reports. So here's what we did. Payroll Elite and premium customers whose employees track hours in QuickBooks time by class or by project will now see those hours correctly allocated and run payroll. You can now split hourly, salary, and commission pay types into multiple classes and projects directly in the run payroll screen. And taxes and deductions are automatically proportionally allocated so you can get a full picture of payroll expenses and reports. Pretty great. And now for the fast facts. These enhancements are available to advanced and plus QuickBooks Online users with a Payroll Elite or Premium subscription. You can now access this new feature directly from Run Payroll. This update has been live in the US as of September of 2024. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let me introduce you now to Tiffany so you can see the product update in action. Tiffany, welcome to the show. Hi, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. I'm Tiffany. I've been at Intuit for a few years now, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you a wonderful update about um, payroll. Let me give you a quick demo. What you would do is you would go ahead and run payroll. So I'm just going to do this right away for my employee, uh, Scarlet Witch. And you can see that time, the hours are, are here and I have some time to approve. So I'm going to just do that and I'm going to approve her time. Let's take a sneak peek at the time that she has entered. And she has entered um, time for Tony Stark, X-Men and Guardians of the Galaxy. So you see that we have two projects, one customer, two projects right here. So I'm going to approve the, her time. Uh, right here for this pay period. And you will see that everything flows directly into payroll, right? So let's go back, let's exit this, yay! All the information has flown directly into payroll, which is awesome. And you can see that I can, I have some projects here that if I click on, on this, you will see, yeah, I have Guardians of the Galaxy, X-Men, those were the two projects. And I can review my classes and projects by clicking on this button, which I'm going to do. And so for her, everything was allocated to the right projects. And from, from there, I can decide, you know, to make some modifications. So let's say it wasn't 12 hours, on, uh, four hours on X-Men. Everything was on Guardians of the Galaxy. So I'm just going to add this and trash this. And here we go. I can split it back if, you know, oh, never mind misunderstood. Uh, I can change the class. I can add a new class if I want to, and I can put it right back, right back. So that's for Scarlet Witch, who is an hourly employee. And now we can take a look at Nick Fury. Nick Fury, in this example, is a salaried employee. If uh, Nick was tracking their hours in QuickBooks time, it would also flow in, but instead of being uh, hours, it would be a percentage. So here, as you can see, all of his salary is allocated to just this class A, which is his default setting. And we can say that, okay, his project was into it. Lucky us. Um, we're going to do 50% uh, on into it and 50% on, okay, let's go with class B and uh, maybe Guardians of the Galaxy. Why not? Uh, and there we go. So here we're all done. You can see that I have my two projects for him. I have my two projects for her. Uh, everyone has their classes and we're good to go. And that is uh, how you can see classes and projects flowing from QuickBooks time into Run Payroll and everything gets then saved into payroll. Tiffany, thank you so much for that demo. We'll turn now to pro advisors, Astrid and Dan, for them to weigh in. Astrid, Dan, welcome. Thanks for being on the show. 
Hey, thank you. I'm excited to be here. Hey, Jacqueline. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Okay, so Dan, let me kick it off with you. I'd love it if you could give the audience a little more context on how you actually use this feature in real life and if you have any examples of the types of clients it might be helpful for. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I really love that it's carrying into the taxes and into the benefits and, and different other deductions that are coming through. Um, we work oftentimes with clients that are either in construction or doing job costing and being able to split out your salary and your hourly employees equally across each of those pieces based off the time that's been allocated is super crucial. It gives you so much more accurate job costing information and it gives you such better detail uh, around how the, the business or how the, the events are happening and how they're performing um, that this is gonna be really, really great news for those clients who are using time tracking in association with QuickBooks Online Payroll. Yes, yes, absolutely. And as Dan was saying, this is a good feature for service-based businesses I work as frequently with not only construction, but also landscaping and commercial cleaning service clients. And there are certain projects that do need that special allocation. And what I love about it too, is that, as you mentioned, this will really help us see the profitability reports and that cost by employee factor that it's really, really helpful for small business owners for them to budget properly and be able to see how profitable each project is based on that cost by employee. So that's super cool to see. Oh, I love that this will help set you up as the advisor as well to give them more information on where they can maybe dial up or dial down based on what the financials are showing. Absolutely. Asher, would you mind hitting on... Would you mind hitting on how this new sync from time into um, payroll and reports might help save you and your team time? Yes. And one of the great things about this is that we don't have to uh, modify the locations or classes manually per, per project. So if this is already fitting into the payroll factor, then we don't have to do those after the fact entries that we had to do in the past. So that's super helpful. I absolutely agree with Astrid on that. I think the one part that's really, uh, much like she mentioned before as well too, that's exciting about it is just the time that usually it takes for you to split out that extra cost, uh, especially if you have heavy benefits for an organization or if you have job specific expenses, this will allow you to be able to do it quickly uh, and easily and really cut down on the amount of extra hours and of, of adjusting reports and exporting things into Excel or things along those lines. So really is going to change the, the workload for us as accountants. But again, that transparency for the client is gonna be a huge win. Well, I'm so happy to hear that being able to track classes and projects in QuickBooks time is a game changer when it comes to being able to share financial information with your clients. And now that it saves you time because it syncs directly with payroll and on into reports. So Dan and Astrid, thank you so much for being on this episode and sharing your insights with our fellow pro advisors. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In the Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.